Let's have some fun in my meal planner. Stay tuned. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Planning Serenity, where we plan for serenity. My name is Jessica, and as mentioned, we are just gonna have a little bit of fun in my meal planner. So if you are new here, I appreciate you clicking on my video and stopping by. If you're returning, you absolutely already know how I feel about you. So just to get started right away, um, if you are new here, I typically meal plan monthly and weekly. So essentially, um, I write out my meals for the month. And then each week, I have a weekly meal menu with my groceries because I grow grocery shopping weekly. However, I have been cooking for over 10 years and um, I'm kind of sort of getting tired of cooking the same things. So um, usually I go on Pinterest and find new things to cook. However, I did recently find a woman named Ren Renee Woodliffe who, um, like I saw some of her recipes on one of her YouTube videos or like one of her meal plans on one of her YouTube videos. And I started like writing down like, hmm, that would be good on this day of the week. That would be good on this day of the week. So that's what this was. And then come to find out she actually has a Pinterest where she keeps all her family meals. Y'all absolutely ob, ob, obsessed. So what I did is wrote down most of the ones that I want to try. Um, and we actually already cooked a couple of them, which is the reason why I'm doing this. Um, so, and then also in doing this, I realized, hmm, if I do one for Renee Woodliffe, um, I think I might wait, make one for like each, um, basically duplicate my recipe binder, which I still have yet to show y'all. I know I apologies, I apologize, but we'll get to that point. Um, but basically duplicate my recipe binder, which is sectioned off, um, and then make it digital. So I'm super excited to do that. But what we're going to do today is basically I took all of the recipes that I started listing out by day of the week and I put them from this template. I transferred them to this template. So if you can see here, these are still days of the week at the top, Monday through Sunday. Um, and I did take a couple of the ones out where I was like, hmm, I thought I would want to try that. Maybe not. Um, so that's why it may look like there are more here than there are here. However, I still have yet to write down every single one that I do want to try. So these will eventually be filled in. Um, but I started to realize I am doing so many recipes by this one person. Um, and I want to be sure that I remember which ones we absolutely loved and all that good stuff. Now, making new recipes every day is easy for me because I have been cooking for so long. I know a lot of people, they can, um, they can only, uh, you know, like try one new recipe a week or one every couple of weeks. Um, but myself, however, I love, love trying new recipes. Um, if you all are new here, you wouldn't know this, but my children's father is 6'8 and like 290-ish pounds. So he can eat. <laughs> he can eat, to say the least. Therefore, um, um, yeah, like I, I cook a lot and we don't want to continuously eat the same thing. So I was super excited when I found her Pinterest board that has all of her favorite family meals on them because we have been trying them. We have been loving them. Um, so yeah, I just want to have a spread with all of her meals. Essentially what I'll do is each week when I go to plan, I'll just pull one of these um, meals from each day of the week and then transfer them to a um, a separate spread. And I may do one with y'all, but transfer them to a separate spread and then do my weekly meal planning from there. But this way, I literally have so many meal options for each day of the week. Um, again, I still haven't written everything down, so I do need to add a couple more to Monday. Um, but essentially that's the goal is to be able to just sit down when I do my grocery pickup order, figure out what meals I want to do that week, figure out what ingredients I need, and then go from there. Again, I may do a, another spread that's going to make more sense, but let's just have a little fun decorating this. So um, as you saw, I just took a screenshot just to cover this bottom and I cannot stand that it's zooming in and out when it wants to. So let me zoom out. All right, sorry y'all, I was wiping fingerprints, um, but also the girls came in. Okay, so let's just cover up this bottom space that we do not need. Um, I don't know how high up I wanna go because I guess it doesn't matter because I can still put text over it. All right, actually, let's not cover the whole, yeah, let's cover it to right there because if we need to, we can always change that spacing, okay. 
let's see so i'm also going to cover this this thing that says next week because on this section i'm going to put the meals that um our family absolutely loved and then i'm going to put the meals that we didn't like so much um just so i know which to keep which to make like a recipe page out of all that good stuff okay so we have next week whited out and then let's white out this week because obviously we oopsies up 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 slow down all right obviously we don't need it for this spread and sorry if i seem a little drained you know how that goes this is um i don't typically batch film this is my second video today so i don't know if that's really considered batch filming but it's been a long labor day weekend and i go back to work tomorrow not excited about it so i apologize but um we do need to get my meal planning spread done for this week okay so we have that now i guess we can get started decorating so i am going to use y'all know i have been using this christmas um freebie by vicky over at calypso creative planning uh, oopsies a lot lately um it's these sweaters that i'm absolutely obsessed with um there we go <laughs> that i'm absolutely obsessed with so i'm just gonna take it um and in a same thing i did in a similar spread i'm just gonna um make it as like a separation border why did y'all do you see how do you see how like see this is why didn't well not this is why i don't batch record but i prefer to like do my spreads daily plan with you all daily chat with you all daily all that good stuff but you see what happens when i try to do more than one video in a day okay um all right so we are just gonna put that separation right there again um that is a freebie by vicky over at calypso creative planning um and this is like a sweater print if you cannot see it on camera um so super perfect for fall all right cool so we have that now while we have her stickers open i'm gonna let's see i think i used this color in another spread so let's grab the green um and again if you're new here this is just a way or an example of how you can use stickers that are not for a particular holiday for any spread that you want okay let's actually copy this size so we have the same size so we'll copy and paste that and again these are going to be the meals that we liked and then the meals that we didn't particularly like um i'm not really sure how i want the layout i do know that i do need to add some text so maybe we'll do that now all right let's grab whoa i don't even know what that feature was all right so if you're new here um this is um a new ipad for me i've only had it for let's oopsies i've only had it for um four days i'm coming from a nine point whatever inch ipad also when i switched my ipad i was kind of forced to update to goodnote 6 and i still haven't fully what do I want to title these? I still haven't fully learned it. So that's why I'm like clicking all over the place. All right, let's title it loved it. And then so y'all see, this is why this is why I have a whole keyboard right here. And I'm over here using this keyboard. Okay. All right. Sorry, I wanted to turn my keyboard on without um, the lights in your face. Okay, we'll turn the lights. <laughs> Ignore me. Yo, I'm about to stop recording and start over tomorrow because this is crazy. All right, we're going to title one, loved it. And I guess the other one will be, mm, let's do eh, oopsies. I need all caps. Let's do eh, not really. <laughs> all right, so we are going to, I guess it doesn't matter the images is on. Let's resize these and then just put them next to the box. Or do I want it under the box? No. Y'all know I love a good sideways font. And then I guess we'll line it up with that bottom blue line. And we'll put, eh, not really. And then we'll resize this one. And then we'll put, loved it. Now, the only thing with resizing is you can see it's not the easiest to make sure that the font actually stays in the font size that you used. Okay. Now, let's, oopsies. All right, let's do it this way. Oopsies, it's still grabbing that. Um, 
let's leave it there for now because I don't feel like finagling with it. There is an easy way to do it, but fingerprints on the screen, all that good stuff. Let's get this done because I do still need to cook dinner. Okay. Um, let's see. All right. So if we love it, I'll basically copy and paste it there. Um, and then if we don't love it, I'll copy and paste it there basically. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's add something to the top. So I have something else of Vicky's open, do I? Yes. This is from the Boss Babe Decorative Sticker Book by Vicky at Calypso Creative Planning. And I saw this thing down here and I already know like what type of scene I want to do at the bottom. So I wanted to add this like, I was about to call it rugged. It's not rugged. I don't know what is this y'all it's super cute though it's some type of and it's not necessarily lace but it has like sparkles in it and i don't know but i just want to use it y'all i'm so tired and it's not even late but it's been it's been it's been <laughs> let's just leave it at that it's been okay i'm gonna throw that there there's another quote on that page that we met <sighs> that we may use um i enjoy this thing called whatever i want and you know what? I am going to use that because this is a cooking spread. I don't necessarily have to watch the ingredients I use, although I do. But um, I feel like it'll be cool to put, I enjoy this thing called whatever I want, because basically we're going to, I'm going to come to this spread and pick out whatever I want to eat or whatever I want to cook for the family. So <laughs> we'll justify it like that. Um, but I, I mean, I don't eat unhealthy. Um, as y'all know, and as I've mentioned, I'm fit and I you know I take care of myself so we're good okay I enjoy this thing called whatever I want <laughs> all right I think that's all I'm gonna use from this one so if you're new here um I imported my stickers into a digital sticker book um I do have two separate digital sticker books one has all of Kristen by Lux book stickers in it and this one that we're in right now has all of the stickers by all of the shops that I have purchased from um so what we're going to do is grab, I believe these are by La Jezebel, La Jezebel. Either way, I always put it down in the, oops, I always put it down in the description, the stickers or the shops where the stickers come from. I'm going to grab this yum. And since this is a cooking spread, what is wrong with me, y'all? And it's probably, yeah, it is still pasted. Okay. Um, since this is a cooking spread, I'm just going to throw this at the top. And if you're new here, um, I try to avoid fingerprints and all that. And this being a much bigger iPad than what I'm used to, that's why I'm like doing all this. Okay. Um, so let's like resize this. Do we want some to show at the bottom or do we want to move this up and have the yum show? Ooh. Or do we want this smaller? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like that. No, I kind of want it bigger. All right, let's see. But then we have that black line popping out. So should we just move it down? Hmm, I don't know. We're gonna leave it like that for now, but let's work on decorating the bottom. Um, and as mentioned, I still haven't added everything from her family meals Pinterest board that I wanna try. Um, but, so this spacing, it probably obviously is a little off, but it will be filled in eventually. Um, let's go back to the sticker book. I recently purchased <laughs> more stickers. <laughs> um, absolutely obsessed with this um, this creator. I believe I used their stickers before, but don't get me to lying. Um, but I went back through the other day um, to their Etsy shop and was like, how did I miss these? Now there's so many different designs of kitchens and all that good stuff in this sticker set, um, but I do think I want to use this and oh my gosh y'all I'm obsessed should we bring that up? oh my y'all moment of silence y'all know I just every spread like I could literally just cry like I don't I can't explain it I cannot explain it but this is everything to me like if you're new here this is my therapy um but it's more than that and it's so hard to explain but do y'all see this? Do y'all see? Okay. Let's find something else for the other half. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. 
I don't know if this will work, but let's try to connect these two together. Cause you see how these are like kind of the same rustic color. Now there are more, like I, yeah, let's just, oopsies, let's just try it. Um, copy and paste and let's see, whoa, let's see what it would look like next to there. Now clearly something has to be done in the middle unless, unless, hmm. Let's move this, let's cut this, and then paste it so it goes, because the top of this is not straight. Um, and let's put it like right there. Oops, so the light bulb is still showing, but that not straight part is covered. Then let's cut this and see if it'll look better, on, like see if we can cover this. I don't even remember what the side. <gasps> All right, let's figure it out. Let's figure it out. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited right now. Okay. Um, how do I do this? How do I do this? I kind of want this to come over top because it makes it look even more 3D-ish or yeah, more 3D as opposed to just being like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. So let's, but I don't want the bottom to have too much white. All right, cool. Now, let's see about this one. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm obsessed. I am literally obsessed. All right, let's actually widen this and we might have to cover some of these plants because it'll look a little too obvious if we... <gasps> okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. We're getting there, y'all. Oh, we're getting there a little bit more. <sighs> a little bit more, or do we go back? All right, let's go back. Or maybe we have to widen this. Oh! <gasps> okay, um, I don't know about this part right here. Or can y'all really tell? I don't think you can really tell because, oh my gosh, it looks Okay, let's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let's go back to our, I turned my pen off, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go back to our sticker book. Um, I have some other stuff favorited. Okay, these are a part, where are the, okay, so this um, this author of these stickers, they have two different kitchen type of stickers. Um, so these did not all come together. So again, I imported my stickers and I rearranged them how I want them to be. Um, so if you go looking for these stickers, I will say that all of these recipe stickers will not come together because they are two different sets. Or do we want to add it like it was sitting on the countertop? Like, you know how some people put stuff on top of their, um, on top of their, you know. But if I do that, I might want white space because I don't want it to be like over this, you know? Let's see what white space would look like. Hmm, nope, don't like that. Maybe we'll make it a little bit smaller. I just wanna make it seem like it's sitting on that top shelf, but then we would need more canned goods, wouldn't we? Maybe we'll like, I think it may be too bright to be in here in the actual spread, unless, I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, again, I just favorite things that I may want to play around with while I'm planning with you all. So um, we will see. Let's see if I want to add. I think I'm good. Since this is like rustic ish, you know, I think I'm going to try to add it in this window just to cover up some of this green. I think that's what's throwing me off is this whole kitchen is like antique ish, but then you have like this pal of like a lime greenish. So I low key just want to pretend it's hanging from like right there, but it can't be that far. All right, let's like hang it from right there. Mm, I think I like that. Or do we cover up this part of the green? No, that looks weird. But would someone, yeah. Clearly they have a junky kitchen, so <laughs> we're gonna put that there. Um, 
Let's see what else we can blend in here. I feel like this sticker set actually. Let's try to grab this chair. Um, I know it's black, but let's try and throw it like over here maybe. Like somebody's sitting here. Because we have those darker green boxes, maybe like when someone's cooking or working over here, they sit here. I don't know. Cool. And I feel like a younger person's kitchen is not going to look like this. So it's probably an older person's kitchen. No offense. I hope y'all know what I mean. Um, so maybe, all right, let's just throw it in this. Mm. I want it to be obvious there's like something there, but I don't want it to be obvious, you know? I want it to look like it's a part of the spread. Let's throw that there and see how that works. Now, the top of that um, that area to the right, I kind of want to add something to it, but these colors, um, these colors, I don't know if they'll work. All right, let's turn the pen on, or off rather. And I'm trying to see, maybe if there's like, ooh, these colors. <sighs> let's try it. All right, I just got an idea. I just got an idea and I hope it works. Copy, let's bring this over here. Work with me y'all, work with me. Let's see if it works crop let's try it all right how far do i cut it though <gasps> is it gonna work y'all oh my gosh it's gonna work is it do we cover the light yeah we might have to cover the light and then let's see let's see let's see do we line it up if so no, they can't be that big. Uh-oh, I hear Jade. I hope she's not coming. <gasps> there we go. There we go, y'all. Does that look like it's on there? I don't know if y'all can see, like, and also, like I said, I plan this way, so it's a lot more difficult because y'all can see looking down. I can't. I'm going to play around with that when we're done, but I can literally just cry. I don't know. I love this. I absolutely love this. Um. So again, when I sit down to plan each week, um, since we're trying a bunch of new meals, I'm just going to pick a meal from each day of the week, transfer it to another template, list out the ingredients, do my grocery pickup, and then we're gonna go from there. Um, I do have screenshots of most of these recipes, so I will be, you know, putting those together each week as I, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Like I said, I may try to do a explanation or a, you know, of how I'm doing my um, meal planner. Cause like I said, it's really hard to explain and me being a recovering alcoholic does not help. <laughs> so if you're new here, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop an emoji of your favorite food down in the comments. Um, and if you're returning, I don't know, does a butterfly make sense? Probably not. Drop an emoji of your favorite food as well, but add our butterfly just in case. Um, and I will see all of y'all in my next video.